let me show y'all what else I do to my apple slices. Make them bomb. Let me show y'all. Hold on. This is so good. Oh, this tastes like banana. Mm. Y'all, yeah. I forgot. Oh, I'm plugging this. Um, I need to make my lunch. Okay, I need to make my lunch. So I've been making um chicken wraps with uh this. Uh, spinach tortilla I'll show y'all oh I got a little brain freeze but chicken wrap with a spinach tortilla and I have a sliced apple MB apples are the best apples my homeboy Pookie who y'all seen in other videos the daiquiri video from Houston check that out um he got me on the Envy Apples, okay? They're the best. I have never had a doty one, okay? You know how the apples be all hard and crisp on the outside, and you're like, oh, I got a bomb apple. You cut it open, and it's doty? Like, not with the Envy Apples. They all be crunchy and good. So, anyways, I have the chicken wrap, my apple slices, and a granola bar, and some peanuts, okay? That's what I have for lunch. And... It's a good, healthy lunch, okay? The peanuts are good, but be careful with nuts because they have a lot of fat. So, if you're trying to be, you know, unhealthy and watch what you eat, they're good for you. Good for, you, like, your heart, nuts, is, but it's high in fat. So, just a little serving could be uh, I'm, uh, high in calories and fat. So, I have a little bit of that. Um, got the chicken uh, wrap, and I usually put avocado uh, I'll use the avocado, I'll mash it up like guacamole and spread it on the, on the bottom of the tortilla and then put all the filling on the top. But yesterday it got kind of soggy like that. I don't know if it was because I put cucumbers on there yesterday too. I don't know if the cucumbers made it soggy, but something I had to switch up today. I think I want to make it kind of simple and plain with nothing to make it soggy and mushy. So I think I might just do like the chicken, some cheese, and some lettuce with like a little bit of sauce on the top wrap it up call it a deal so let me get to making that mm. be back all right you guys so i have i want to say that y'all i'm probably gonna split this vlog into two videos if not three probably two two though and y'all may see me in the same clothes it's the same day but different videos so anywho i have my apple okay my envy apple that is bomb as crap okay got that i'm gonna wash that off real good make sure you wash your vegetables and your fruits y'all especially now with the covid 19 you definitely i mean you wash them anyways but you definitely want to uh, take extra precautions now. So wash this off really good with hot water. I use hot water because, you know, heat's supposed to kill germs, so. I wash it off because I eat the skin on my apple. I don't know about y'all, but I do. So, all right. So we got the apple. Well, you got a little bruising. I got this apple from Walmart when I went shopping the other day. Y'all check my shopping video out. Um, yeah, I got it from uh, Walmart. I usually get them from HEB because I didn't even know Walmart carried Envy apples. But HEB's Envy apples are humongous. Like, they're really big. And Walmart's is like a basic size apple. And they're like bruised up. They didn't look the best, but I ate one yesterday and it still tastes good. It was good in the apple, but this one got like bruises and stuff. Like the other one yesterday had a little like I don't know something, but 
Anyway, it's got the apple. Okay. We got my chicken tenders, which I made them yesterday. I didn't make them. They're Tyson chicken strips. But I baked them yesterday. I baked like enough for two days. And then I'm going to bake some more tomorrow for tomorrow's. But yeah, I got that already. Um, I can show y'all. I'll show y'all the package in a minute. And then I got my granola bars. Chunky chocolate chocolate chewy chocolate chunk granola bars from walmart i usually get mine from heb but it's the same thing it has 90 calories and seven grams of sugar so not bad at all for one okay and i got my peanuts i have unsalted but i usually get lightly salted but walmart didn't have that so i have to get unsalted which is fine with me i can even throw a little salt on it if i want which I did it yesterday. I didn't even eat them yesterday. So, I still have the amount I needed in the container. And I have cheese to put on my wrap. Some lettuce, shredded lettuce. And I have cucumber ranch that I'm going to put on top of my wrap. And also, let me get the wrap. I got to show you all the wrap. Duh. All right. One of the main things, the wrap, okay? It's called Extreme Wellness um, High Fiber Spinach and Herb Carb Carb Lean. So, it's only 50 calories for one tortilla. Okay, oh, they're coming out. Y'all, it almost fell in the sink. Uh-uh, but as y'all see, they're the spinach and the green ones. And I really like these because they're really like thin and flexible like they're not like you know regular tortilla is kind of like stiff and kind of hard and you bend it's kind of hard to bend but this one's like really lightweight and flexible almost elastic what's in here no i'm playing it's good though so yeah got that so now i'm gonna go ahead and cut up my apple mm. <laughs> cut my apple up y'all I don't know if y'all can see me, but yeah. Zip lock. So I got my apples cut up, y'all. Okay, just put them in a little baggie. All right, they're in the baggie. Oh, let me show y'all what else I do to my apple slices. Make them bomb. Let me show y'all. Hold on. All right. What is that? Oh, Ming's posted. Awesome. Um, I put this. You know that little chile powder you put on the Mexican fruit bowl cups and stuff? They come in little to-go packs, okay? I put two of these. I pack two of them. And sprinkle them on here. You don't want to sprinkle them on there ahead of time. Because I, I did that one day. And I, not even thinking, hello, like salt makes water come you know the moist water come out of it so it was so so soggy and ugh, it had like a little yucky film on the apple i said oh my gosh i messed up you gotta put it on it when you're right when you're trying to eat it and boom boom so yeah i put that on it good as crap try it y'all try it don't knock it till you try it and if you're aware of the calories one of these packs is two calories so yeah two calories 
All right, y'all. Now, we got the apples out the way. Now, let's make the chicken wrap. Let's make this wrap, y'all. Look, this is so lightweight and it's lightweight, y'all. It's so easy to just fold. So, move that one out the way. So, like I said, I usually put avocado, get half avocado, smash it up, and put salt, and put this, put it on here. But yesterday was so mushy. I don't know if it was because of that or because of the cucumbers. You know what? It probably was the cucumbers because I never really be putting cucumbers on it, but I put avocado all the time, and it don't be mushy. So, it's probably the cucumbers what made it like that, truthfully. And, you know, I probably should put the avocado because... Avocado go bad, and I got half of one already cut. So you know what? I think I'm gonna put that. Hold on, y'all. Okay, never mind. Ew, it got so bad already. Look at that. Ew. It was already pretty ripe yesterday. Ugh. Yuck. Like, I don't know. I went to Walmart. Their, their avocados was not ripe. They're all hard like a rock. All of them. Then AGB, theirs be too ripe. They're like, you could almost pierce the avocado with your fingernail and it come oozing out. So I'm like, eh. Hey. Sign that I don't need avocado. But anyways, y'all, let me get this. Let me wipe my uh, knife off so I can cut the chicken strips so we're gonna make it ba the basic chicken wrap because i don't want it all soggy and as you saw the avocados messed up but i got another avocado but no so here's the chicken you guys i don't know can y'all see got my chicken and the lettuce you know what i'm gonna put the lettuce first or you know what? I'm gonna put some of this down. Now let me make it soggy. I'm all over the place, y'all. Trying to get my wraps right. Put some lettuce. A little bit of lettuce down, y'all. And I'm gonna get some chicken. Cut the chicken up. That modeling suggests that in the short term, in the next three to four weeks, our hospitals can reach capacity. Oh my lord. Y'all hear this? The news is in the background. I'm not liking what I'm hearing. If we turn the businesses back on, if we allow people to go back to restaurants and bars and businesses today, that by May, we will need to be able to provide more than 30,000 hospital beds a day for our yes. community alone. And I, I bring this up because we have to forecast a little bit. I put some so cheese. Loud and clear from China, from Italy, from Seattle, from New York. Oh. We cannot wait until the hospitals are already overrun to make decisions and act decisively. All right, y'all want to see? Let me. I was going to pick y'all up, but that would have been a mistake. So there's my wrap. Chicken. I got lettuce at the bottom. Chicken chunks at the top, the salad dressing, cucumber ranch, and a little bit of cheese sprinkled on it. And we're gonna wrap it on up. Those decisions are which member of our healthcare community gets personal protective equipment? Who gets masks? Do we give it to first responders? Do we give it to hospitals? Do we give it to nursing homes? Mm. Other decisions that are even more difficult when we have scarce resources. If we were to run out of ventilators and ICU beds, we have to make difficult decisions about who gets the ventilator. Here's my wrap, y'all. Who has the opportunity to survive yeah. or not? These are decisions that are already being faced across the globe by communities who are already already at war with this virus. And one I forgot to show y'all the chicken. Let me get the chicken and show y'all the bag of chicken. This is the chicken that I use. Crispy chicken strips. Tyson. 
or that I use this week. I don't always use it. I usually do make my own chicken, really. But last week and this week, I haven't. It's been crazy, so. Can't even really find no chicken strips in the store, so. Frozen ones it is. Okay. Um, I wrapped my wrap with parchment paper and foil. So I put the parchment Box show. And I just put my stuff in there. Well, I usually wrap this in a Walmart bag because I don't know. I don't like the smell of it being in my lunchbox. So I wrap it in a Walmart bag and it like seals the smell. So I'm gonna get my Walmart bag. Here it is. That up and put that in here. Some apple slices. And my little packets. My peanuts, which y'all didn't see me pour it in there because I already have it in here. I didn't eat it yesterday, so. I have some in here, a little amount. I usually have more than this, but um, it fits the calories, which actually I can put more because I don't have the avocado today on there. The avocado is more calories. But now I'll leave it like this because I am going to eat lasagna today. So that's calories. Too much right there. I usually get me oatmeal or um, eggs, but today. I had to take my mom to the doctor and I didn't eat, so, um, yeah, but I really have my smoothie though, too, so, that's breakfast. So, anyways, did the granola bar. And there we go. Lunch, y'all. Okay, I got the wrap, the granola bar. The peanuts and my apple slices. And that's my lunch. So, thank y'all for watching what is in my lunch box, okay? Chicken wraps. I'm a routine eater, so I could kind of eat the same thing over and over for weeks but then I gotta burn myself out and I have to stop eating it and switch to something else but I'll bring it back though so but that's what's in my lunch box y'all all right hope y'all enjoy toodles